Hi guys, today I'm grooming my dog. She's a Yorkie. Um, I just wanted to show a really easy, basic way to groom a Yorkie. I learned this method in grooming school and I really like it a lot. It's just really simple and easy. I groom her once every, I don't know, maybe eight weeks or so. And this is how I do it. So, of course, I start off just by brushing her all over. She has a few mats in her back leg because she always chews at her back leg. I think she has allergies. I'm just using this little rake just to pull out all of those mats. I find this tool to be super useful when an animal is not covered in mats but just has a couple that need to come out. This thing really gets them out super easily. I don't know what I would do without it. Then I just use my comb to go back in and make sure all of them are out. I get most of my tools from either Amazon or the website Groomers Mall. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start my prep work. First, I always like to shave inside the pads and get all of that hair out. I use a 40 blade. And then I'm going to trim her nails up. So again, just shaving the pad and then trimming nails. And I don't know if a lot of people use this. I know the other groomers that I see haven't, but this clipper, moser, whatever you want to call it, is uh, really cool. I don't honestly have no idea if other groomers use it. I haven't seen anyone use it, but when I went to grooming school, this is what they taught me to use for my prep work at least. And it's got five settings on it. It's got a 40 blade, 30 blade, 15, 10, and nine. So I find it super useful. So here I use the 40 to do out of the pads. Then I switch it to a 15 and I'm going to do around her belly area and her like a privacy trim, I guess. And just up to that line of where her hair really stops growing. There's not much hair down there. It's mostly just fuzz, but I just want to make sure. Around her butt with the 15 as well. I'm also going to do her armpits. I find that this area gets matted pretty easily. So I just like to shave them out with the 15. Again, on the other side. Then her ears, I don't think they need plucking or cleaning. I think they look really good and I don't really like to mess with ears unless they need to be messed with. So I'm just gonna leave them like that. And then I'm going to back brush her hair just to make it easier for me. I took my clipper and I put it on the 40 setting and then I attached a number two comb and I'm going to be doing reverse number two on her basically. Mm -hmm. I really like doing reverse. I feel like it just makes everything a lot smoother. You can see right here she's a little itchy where I'm pressing down. It's making her twitch a little because like I said she has some allergies. I'm making sure to pull the skin taut so that way it gives the smoothest look and then again just back brushing and shaving but i'm going to leave her legs out i'm not going to do them right now because i like her legs to be fluffier than the rest of her body i think it gives more style and it just looks really nice I'm just holding her head down so I'm able to do her neck. And I'm going to go over all of this again after her bath. I just like to get the majority of the hair off before the bath so that way there's less of a dry time afterwards. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the same two comb and I'm going to do her legs, but instead of doing reverse, I am just going to go down normally. So that way her legs are longer. Um, so if you don't know when you do reverse, it makes it a lot shorter. Like for example, if you do a seven blade reverse, it acts as a 10 blade. So it's just basically cuts the hair a little bit shorter. So I'll do a two reverse on her body and then a two normal on her legs. So it keeps her legs fluffy. And I'm gonna do most of it with the scissoring work just cause I hate shaving 
small dog legs. <laughs> I feel like it's just such awkward shapes and stuff, so I'll do the best I can, but most of it will be done with scissoring. Next is the bath time. I just soak her up really good and then wash her. I have this, I don't know, it's this pink soap that I bought off of Amazon. It smells really good, had great reviews, so I like it. Haven't had any problems with it. I'm just gonna scrub her up really nicely. And then I bought this little comb thingy, which I absolutely love. I feel like it gets them so much cleaner because you can really get in there and scrub them. So I've been using that for the past few months and I've been seeing a big difference in how clean my dogs have been coming out. So I definitely recommend using one of those. But yeah, I'm not doing anal glands or anything. Again, this is just my dog and I really only do anal glands if the owner asks. So after the bath, we're going to brush her out and then I'm going to spend forever blow drying her and brushing her. If I had a bunch of dogs, I would have just stuck her in a drying cage, but she's the only dog I'm doing today, and dogs look so much better when you hand blow dry them. The hair just comes out so much nicer. I always try to hand blow dry them, especially if it's a curly haired dog. So again, I'm just going to start doing the same thing, brushing her hair up and then combing the reverse too, just going over it all again. Then here are all the scissors I'm using, my straights, my curved, and then my thinning shears. Actually, I don't even know if I use my thinning shears in this one, <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and brush her out and then trim everything, cutting the tail. I just like to cut the tail straight across. I know that's not the normal way to do Yorkie tails, but I like it when she has a poofy tail. So this is how I do hers. Um, I just cut it straight across and I think it looks cute. Then for her legs, I'm just gonna go over any places that I don't like and just trim it up basically, rounding the feet like you normally would. Just a lot of scissoring work with the feet just to get them to look how I want. Then for her head, I'm going to reverse brush again. And then I believe this is a zero comb. It could be a one. I'm pretty sure it's a zero though. So I'm just gonna do reverse on her head just to get lots of that hair out of there. And then as this brushes it forward, it leaves the hair in the perfect spot for me to clip her bangs as well. So I'm just gonna brush that again and then I'm just gonna take my straight shears and then just trim straight across and then diagonally around each eye. And normally I would take my 15 blade and go in right at the corner of her eyes, but she's pretty good today so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take my curved shears and I'm just going to trim right around the corner of her eyes just to make sure she can see perfectly. Then I hold her ears up, brush out her little beard, and then I'm just going to trim that again with my curved shears. On lots of dogs, I would use my thinning shears for this, but honestly, I'm so impatient with them. I feel like they just take forever. I really don't like them. Uh, for the ears, I'm folding the ear in half, just brushing it down, and then just trimming it, which I had a very hard time doing it with the camera there without blocking the whole view. Um, I actually went back later and fixed it up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna fix some stuff up around her neck. 
and yeah i thought she looked cute this is what she looks like she's all finished so yeah that's how i grew my dog i hope you guys like the video if you have any comments or suggestions on how to do things better or easier let me know in the comments i've only been a groomer for a year so i'm open to suggestions or ideas or whatever i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for someone thanks for watching